three days since you wrapped up the the Western Lights Championship. Does it suck in? And how's it feeling? Uh, I mean, obviously winning is great. It's a great feeling. Um, you know, I, it, it was a bit of a tough week leading up to, um, you know, Seattle because I kept thinking to myself, man, even if I win, I'm going to need some help. Like, someone's going to have to be between myself and Short. And that's a kind of sort of crappy feeling because it's like now you're relying on someone else. And uh, so I was a little concerned because I definitely felt like I rode like an idiot in, in uh, Dallas. Um, just rode really tight, never got a rhythm, just was kind of horrible. Wasn't really able to gain much on the on the front two there, so you know I lost two more valuable points. But uh, you know all I figured going to Seattle is all I can do is try and win, and whatever happens happens. But uh, I knew I'd be very very upset if I had lost by a point. You know if he got second. So <laughs> and then when I saw it starting to rain, I'm like, this might not be a bad thing. I'm like. I know Andrew struggles in the mud, and I'm like, the mud can kind of make you or break you. And I'm like, in um, San Francisco, it killed me. I mean, I wasn't slow, but I was on the ground every two laps, kind of like Nathan had that kind of race on the weekend. And, uh, you know, I got some, you know, pretty good starts, both the heat and the main, and, you know, came around the first turn top five in both and made some good passes and, you know, won my heat and then the main, same sort of thing. And, uh, you know, Villapoto kind of let me by and he sat in behind me and I started to pull away from him and I just kept checking over my shoulder and I kept seeing him there because they didn't want to tell me where Short was so uh, I just kept seeing Villapoto in second I'm like well as long as he's there that's good enough so uh, I just uh, kept it on two wheels, kept it tidy you know didn't push push the issue and uh, on the last lap I saw the pit board where the city was in eighth and I was like yeah I got it so uh, it was really cool because I think I wanted to win this championship real bad just because it was like, you know, if I do this, I've done it all. So it was like, it was like when you feel like you're so close to something, you just got to do that final little bit. And uh, winning it was, was awesome. And um, I'm stoked for myself, Kawasaki, the team, everyone. You know, we've all worked really hard in the off season. And I really felt like I could have won more races if I had better starts and maybe a little bit better luck at some stage. But uh, at the end of the day, we we did what we had to do, and um, that's really a cool way to uh, kind of finish my Supercross, you know, season in the lights. And uh, I'm looking forward to the 450s in the future. How do you feel about the outdoors coming up? You look, uh, you're looking really fast out here today. Well, thanks. Yeah. Um, it's like anything, you know, at the end of outdoors, you're, you're sick of it and you're looking forward to Supercross. Now we're in a Supercross, you know, I'm looking forward to the outdoors now. So um, it'll be a good a good season. There's going to be a lot of guys going fast this year. I think uh, um, consistency is going to be the key because I think you're going to have a lot of winners. You're going to have a lot of people having good days. And uh, every year, man, you look in the outdoors, the guy who wins is always definitely the one who's been consistent, you know more often than not the guy who wins the most races hasn't been the guy that won the title so I'm going to try and learn from our mistakes in previous years and try and ride a little more with this rather than this so because uh, uh, I definitely love to win this championship I think it would mean a lot to me and uh, would just you know really uh, kind of put an exclamation mark on uh, you know my my sort of career in the light now and and uh, set my goals on the on the big bike.